version of Hustle and Glow. You're most likely going to be watching this on December 20th, which is a Friday, just five days before the holiday. And the funny thing is, is as I was kind of, well, as I was thinking about all of you guys, the people that have enrolled in Hustle and Glow, I thought how ambitious you guys are and how crazy you guys are for actually <laughs> enrolling in a live version right now. And I also want to tell you, it, it speaks about your ambition. It speaks about what you really want and you're going towards that vision. And I am your cheerleader and admirer at the same time. I love the ambition that you all have. And I just wanted to mention that before we go forward into to this week's video. And this week's video is from actually inspired by a Hustle & Glow member that asked me about what do you do with multi brands and how do you integrate it to be um you know have your name actually be tied with the brands and that your name is actually in the forefront of those brands so when you move forward people identify those brands to be yours which is a mouthful right but we all um you know especially entrepreneurs I don't say we all but it I'm generalizing here but most of us what we do is we want to have multi brands and you know my first brand was my artwork um in the background that's kind of this was my first twitter account and I wanted to show you guys you know I'm still active here I use it um as a personal platform if I I do political tweets I do things that inspire me. It's basically a more personal side of, of what I do. I also promote my business because that's really, really important for me to do, um, to, to get that outreach out there. But definitely this isn't a very organic sort of um, uh, process here. I don't do any following methods here. I just let it just be really organic. So that's this platform and this is my personal one. It talks about my bio and I actually just changed it to have my uh, business um, you know, address here. So that's one way to do it. And then here is my, um, my business profile. So it's definitely a bit more driven. It's more um, ambitious and it also speaks to what my business is and of course hustle and glow so this is how that looks now a couple of things here if you notice I have my name tied to both so Francesca Alexander is tied to both of these um, sometimes I've I've done other accounts where, I, where I've listed curated by Francesca Alexander now the cool thing about Twitter is that they have a direct link and relationship with Google and we're gonna pop on on Google right now I and mean, they're all a little different depending on you know if you're looking it on with your uh, Google Gmail you'll probably get a different screen or sometimes what I'll do is I'll um, uh, you know open up Google Chrome and I'll check out my name here to see what a realistic kind of Google thing is going to happen here. So this is who I'm competing with, by the way. This is the Francesca Alexander that has died many, many <laughs> years ago. But she outranks me. So what my job is to do is to get my stuff on top. And I do do that from time to time, depending on how many articles are posted or how uh, active I am online, I can kick this other Francesca Alexander off. Um, so that's kind of my, my, my competitor. My other competition, I believe, is a, is a hairstylist in the UK. Uh, there you go. She's right there. So I give her a run for her money as well. So I just want to make sure that I have fresh content always. I'm consistently tweeting to get my brand out there. So uh, what the cool thing about the multi-branding platform is that this will actually help you climb the the top of of uh you know google and for for business and for just recognition you know there's google there's youtube if you wanted to search something on an iphone siri most likely uses yahoo um and um oh goodness what was the platform i'll get back to that platform we'll talk to we'll talk about that conversation in another video i'm gonna go veer off from that but definitely we'll talk about 
um, iPhone and, you know, who to easily search or, you know, Yelp actually comes up on Siri to easily search people. So keep that in mind too. You may want to put your business, um, your business on Yelp. So if you're someone's Googling you or using Siri, it's going to come up a little easier. So enough of that. So that's those, you know, that is a great side effect of having two brands. Um, I also wanted to show you another, um, you know, relatively, you know, two brands in one and, um, you know, side by side. Now this is the celebrity aspect, of course. I like that I put myself with Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> But this is really a good case study because she has a brand called Goop and then she has her own brand, which is her. Um, and we're going to look at those two together. So here's Goop. This is this is a prime example of having something listed as curated by and then putting your name. So that will read really well when it comes to SEO and have people check out um, you know, this brand that's associated with you. So here is the Gwyneth Paltrow brand and you can kind of see if you Google it, what is she most known for, you know, Google on, you know, or, or on Twitter in general. So you can kind of see how those two link up together. Also, I thought it was really interesting that if you put, and I'm going to talk about this in the next little slide here or tab on, on here, is that if you put Oh, God, goodness, let me see if I can spell her name right. Oh, my goodness. I'm freezing up right in front of everybody. Everybody's ch Oh, my God, everybody see me. I can't spell. <laughs> see, I told you can't spell. Okay, here we go. Can't spell. And then when I can't spell, I start to stutter, which is always attractive. There we go. So if you do Gwyneth, GwynethPaltrow.com, you'll, you'll see that it actually goes to her goop. Um, uh, website, which I want you to kind of think of that too. So if you have multi, um, you know, websites, this is something that I did with another company too that I'm going to show you in a second. It's very easy and effective. So yes, you can get your name and then tie it to your product. So that would be an easy way to just kind of draw back. It will also help with SEO for sure. Um, and, okay, that's kind of more of the same. That's goop.com. It's basically identical, which is awesome. You can do something like that, or you can link multi of uh, websites together. Let me show you. So this is one website that I help do that with. Um, here we go. We have the main product website. This clinic is, uh, this, she has a skin, uh, skincare clinic a skin health uh, clinic and when you push on that you're going to notice it's going to go to a completely different website. Now there there's consistency here in terms of what the you know what the website looks like, you know the the entire design is the same. So when you're clicking from there and then going home uh, or you know going to skin, um, you can easily do that. Let me see if we can, okay you can easily do that and go here or go back. So usually you want to do something like that. So if you go here, you, it's kind of interesting that they made into that. Um, or you can't go back to it. That's probably not a prime example, but let me tell you when I helped is help with this sort of uh, yeah, concept, I, I had them kind of go back and forth. So basically you want one of your tabs to be able to go back to the original website. So that's what I would fix in this one is I would go back to the original website. Um, but yeah, you can totally integrate that and by using just tabs, you're going to see that happening soon with my website. You're going to see my FrancescaAlexander.com be integrated with Hustle and Glow and also Social Global Grind. And you can do that too. It's going to not only interlock all of your websites to be like this really fascinating big website, it's also going to help with your SEO and at the end of the day we want to be able to elevate you and your brand and what you do so it's easily easily searchable um, especially on Google so that is your short video for now um, I can't wait to see you I believe on Saturday we're gonna have another quick video to show you how you can elevate your strategy for 2014 bye for now <laughs>